in our tech report, Rwanda is currently experiencing a quiet digital revolution. Young Rwandans are providing digital solutions to the challenges facing small-scale farmers, Spiderbeat, a tech startup, and the creator Ihaho, an e-commerce platform for agricultural products, is connecting farmers to buyers and offering a fresh perspective to an old farming system. Africa 54 technology reporter Paul Ndiho spoke to Davis Mugira, CEO and founder of Spiderbit in Kigali, Rwanda. Davis and Mugira, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, Paul. You run a tech uh, farm in Kigali, Rwanda. Uh, bring me up to speed and uh, what is it that you've done differently uh, to make sure that uh, your business uh, stays alive uh, during this time of uh, COVID-19? Like any other business, this was uh, an unprecedented time. So every, every business was kind of caught off guard. Uh, same applied to Spiderbit. It's a tech company. We, we have two solutions. Uh, one is an ELP, of course, looking at the business uh, management, like the HR operations, mm -hmm. accounting, the project management, customer relationship management, procurement. Uh, more focus, like where we plan to go, is the the e-commerce e in agriculture, uh, uh, connecting farmers with the market, and uh, other farm inputs. We focused on uh, uh, rebuilding our product, but uh, what we did in in response to to respond to COVID, uh, there was a big uh, challenge of since there was lockdown and uh, moving up country wasn't easy. So farmers were calling us that we have the produce. And uh, at the same time, in the cities, like food markets, where the stocks were running down. So we're looking at this problem. How do we uh, contribute to how, what is our, our role into this? The platform is called Ihaho. It's an e-commerce platform uh, connecting farmers to the buyers. And uh, of takers, uh, uh, the farmers put the produce on the platform using their future phones, not necessarily a smartphone. And then the, the, the produce goes on the platform. They put the prices, the quantities, locations, and uh, the buyers go on the platform and look uh, at the, the produce of their choice, depending on the quantities, depending on the prices, depending on the locations. And then they, they do make order. So this is a service. We give the service to the, to the farmers, and then we give the service to the buyers. But we have more, as an e-commerce, we have more futures, whereby we, we also facilitate remote agro-dealers to buy the produce, not necessarily coming to the city. They make orders, we deliver. How, how many people do use your platform? Uh, as of now, it is close to 9,000. Users. Rwanda, like uh, most uh, African countries, uh, agriculture is the backbone of uh, their economy. Where do you see uh, the kind of technology or the kind of service that uh, you're offering uh, uh, taking uh, farming in Rwanda? We want to move the agriculture into a commercial farming. We want to drive youth uh, involvement into the agriculture. And uh, many, many youth now are, are trying to, to, to join agriculture to start uh, doing commercial farming. So it can't easily happen without uh, the growth of different uh, sectors. That is like ICT in agriculture has to be there. Infrastructure has to be there. Logistics has to be really uh, well operating. So these uh, uh, more, more, uh, add-ons to the, to the sector to move into from the subsistence into commercial farming. Your president, uh, His Excellency Paul Kagame, is big on ICT. He has been promoting ICT in that country. Uh, earlier you also mentioned, uh, you talked about the fact that uh, there is little penetration of the internet uh, access to cell phones uh, in the rural areas. Uh, so uh, how do you see this play out? Our president has actually championed this, the, the, the use of ICT. There is a huge infrastructure. They have laid uh, cables, uh, optic fibers across the country. There is more initiatives that come up 
building on what has been actually built. In terms of uh, uh, changing the business operations in the agriculture sector, because if a farmer is having a smartphone, probably won't fail to get uh, like 100 MBs uh, to, to be able to access information, be the calendar information, be the uh, weather information, be the market information, be edu content, it will be easy. Thank you so much, David. Thanks, Paul, for having us. That was Africa 54's tech reporter Paul Deho speaking to Davis Mugira, CEO and founder of Spiderbit in Kigali, Rwanda.